right, so this is Joe. Joe. He's a Jitsu mix. He's hilarious. My little hearing that I mentioned in the last video didn't go great, so I'm in a not lovely mood, but Joe will hopefully cheer me up a bit because he's funny. <laughs> so I actually did his nails before I started the video. I did them before my hearing. He drummled them down because he didn't have a whole lot to take off. And I don't ever take a whole lot off of Joe, just kind of even him up. So we'll use a clip comb on him. Not a blade, like on my last videos, just to show that I can do things besides shave downs. <laughs> Even though they're not really that short of shave downs. It really wasn't. I'm just going to vent for a second. We were literally, my son is on a state insurance. It's called Papa in Iowa. And he had originally been accepted on it, and he's been on it for the last year of his life. And they sent us a rejection letter saying he was kicked off of it at the beginning of the year. Well, he's been kicked off since November. So he hasn't had insurance since then. So all of his medical expenses have been out of pocket, which includes a freaking x-ray because he had walking pneumonia and he had to have like tests and stuff to get diagnosed with that. But we are over the monthly income limit by less than $200 because my husband was working and he still does work. He'll work overtime for people and we'll put it in like a vacation fund. I mean, we're not rich by any means. We can't even add him onto our insurance because it's not open enrollment period. Plus if we add him on, it'll be several hundred dollars. But anyways, so they told me to try reapplying with new in new info that better res reflects our earnings. So like, I'm going to be making less right now till about March. This is the slow season. People are, they spend a lot of money at Christmas time. And they they're tapped out until they start getting their taxes back. That's just how dog grooming usually works. So I'll start seeing a lot of matted dogs around spring break. Well, and, I, and like I work in a boarding kennel, so a lot of dogs, before they go home for spring break, they'll want to bathe or groom. Yes. So basically, if we want our kid to have insurance, my husband needs to stop working any overtime. Go ahead. All right, we'll do thinning shoes for that, Joe. Can you stand up for a minute? You know, it's just frustrating because it's like, if you want any help from the government, you have to not try to better yourself. We work our butts off. To get him his own insurance plan would just cost way too much money. And that's why our healthcare system needs change, but I'm not going to go into that on here. I just feel like a crappy parent because my kid doesn't have insurance right now. You're okay. I know. I know. How do I? Stand up for a second. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to brush them out a little bit, see what we're working with. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, no. Now you won't. Rude. You were all loving up on me earlier. So he does not have a ton of hair. And I can't find his card from last time. I know I did a quick thing on it. I think I might have done a half in. Possibly a dark blue comb, which is three eighths. So I'm thinking. We're gonna go with three eighths. Because I just don't think a half inch is gonna take hardly anything off. It seems like he's growing like longer in places. 
almost got weird hair. It's kind of hairier, like. It's not like typical soft shih tzu hair. This is why he's funny. He's so, so damn lazy. <laughs> Joe! I guess when they adopted him, he had like some fancy name. His mom, she goes, he doesn't look like that. He looks like a Joe. <laughs> His hair is not growing back in all the way. Because he was a lot shaggier the last time I saw him. So I'm actually just going to take this off because he's going to lay down that way. There's no point hanging him. Oh, really? That gave me magic powers to stand. Oh, uh, this do not make sense. And this is not your standard uh, comb or 30 blade. I actually just got this from Affordable Grooming Shears. And it's the wide, the wide 30 attachment combs. And I freaking love it. Especially more so for like the big dogs, like the doodles and stuff. He's big enough that I can use it on him. I might have to switch to the other one for his legs, but it is a huge time saver if the dog's not mad at it. And I was skeptical at first, but it's worth it. Hi, Joe. Back to your ways. Why are you like this, Joe? Makes me laugh too because I have a cousin named Joe. Call him Joey growing up, so it's hard to not call him Joey. Sucks when you get news you don't like and get news over your head like that. And I'm one of those people that I get. I have a hard time with it. And I just overthink everything and over process it. That's what anxiety and good old depression will do for you. That's why we take meds. I swear I'm saying everybody. I just sit back here and I talk to dogs all day. Now I've got a camera to talk to. So things are going to get even more weird. And the other days, my boss thought I mounted a camera in here. And was looking on the walls and I was like, no. It's literally my cell phone on top of my lunchbox. On top of a shelf. Super professional. Thank you. Ah, ah, ah. Come here, please. 
took the noose off, but you gotta stay here. Down's the rules. Down's the rules. On these haircuts like this, where it's not taking a ton off, um, sometimes I'll back brush just to try to get a little more off. This dog. amount of scissoring on his legs just because it's not wanting to come off nicely. No, oh, okay. I don't have any dogs on my schedule for tomorrow, Saturday, which is freaking weird. And I hope, hope it doesn't snow too bad. Maybe I'll be able to do something. They apparently remodeled the Chuck E. Cheese in town, so that might be fun. Take my son too. Just don't eat their pizza. Because TMI, that's just diarrhea waiting to happen. dogs like this, I'm not, I'm not going to force him to stand. I mean, he obviously, he's not going to. I'm not going to tie him up because I can work around it. I mean, he's not fighting me. Is it a little inconvenient? Sure. But he's not snapping and freaking out, so I'll just work around what he wants to do. If he'll stand up once in a while just so I can get a little better, it helps. But you want the dog to be comfortable, not miserable. And if it's not, it's not overly inconvenient, you can still do it, just work around it. You know, I hate these videos where these dogs are being pinned down and tied up unnecessarily and, and they're fighting it so damn bad. I understand like using a sling or something to support them, but like, I don't know. I've just seen some bad things on YouTube as of late. My fellow groomer friends know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm, I'm not going to torture a dog to get it groomed. I, I do have some pretty, some fairly aggressive dogs that come in. And I have a cat that I do that I'm actually the only groomer in this area that's been able to get her done successfully. And her owner knows that she's basically Satan. <laughs> And I, I told him, I was like, shaving your cat is like performing an exorcism, and he left. But her, she comes in just hissing and spitting and freaking out in the carrier from the moment she gets here. And so she gets the, the kitty Hannibal muzzle as soon as I get her out of the cave, out of the kennel. And I have to like take off the top because it's like a little plastic pet taxi. Put a towel around her, like drop it over her real quick and scoop her out and put her on my chin. She doesn't have front claws. She has back claws. I haven't seen her in a while. Like the first time when he came to pick her up, he's like, oh my god, I can't believe you got her done. Nobody else can. I'm like, I'm a crazy cat lady. I do a lot of, a 
I'm on a naughty pants. Oh, those, those cat bites, they'll get you. I haven't gotten a severe, I've had one cat bite from like actually grooming that I had to get antibiotics for. But it wasn't a bad bite. I mean, like the cat barely grazed me, but it, then it started getting all swollen and nasty. I almost got hospitalized for a feral cat bite. And my hand, it was, that was some of the worst pain I've ever been in. How does a feral cat bite you, you ask? Well, me being the crazy cat person I am, I actually, I was driving home from picking my son up from daycare. And she lives out in the country. It's like in a small town, I have to drive through the country to go to get there. And um, it's all on the highway. And there's a lot of, um, it's in a farming community. I live in a farming area. And there's a lot of feral cats. <coughs> and so this cat, it's late at night, it's dark. This feral cat dashes. It's okay, Joe. Joe. Feral cat just dashes across the street. And I'm doing 65, I can't freaking stop. And I hit the cat, and I wanted to make sure that it had died on impact and it wasn't suffering. I mean, I'm already like bawling at this point because I hit an animal. I've never even hit a squirrel. <clears throat> so, me being me, pull my car over to the side of the road. I got my son with me, he's a year old, not even. And my dog with me too. <coughs> I pull over and this cat's laying in the road and it's still alive. And, you know, he obviously wasn't going to make it. But he let me pick him up and everything. I took him to my car and there's a vet literally like less than two minutes away from where I'm at. So I pick him up, I get him in my car, and he's sitting in my car, but he goes in shock in my car and he just went ham on my hand. I don't blame the cat. I mean, he was in shock and in pain, and it just, but man, that bite was terrible. But I did get him to the vet. He did go with some dignity, I guess, and peacefully. And I tell you, I've never cried so much in my damn life. I'm like calling my husband and my mom. I'm the cat murderer. And I couldn't even drive that way to pick up my son from daycare for weeks. story cat bites don't f around with cat bites <sighs> if anyone want pictures ask me I will show you the pictures of that hand it was mm. you know and then you got to send the freaking the cat in for rabies testing the chance of a cat having rabies is like one percent but you can't freaking risk it, otherwise they make you get those rabies shots, and those are a crap ton of money. Especially when your insurance isn't great. Thanks again, America. Because I, I did have to go to the ER for that cat bite just because I needed to start on antibiotics right away. Because I mean, literally within seconds of that cat biting me, my hand was swelling up. <laughs> so I went to the ER, and I literally, I was there for less than an hour because it's, world of wit. Nobody goes to that ER. <laughs> if you're dying, they send you somewhere else. Um, anyways, I was there and they cleaned my hand off. Is she here for the Yorkies? They, they cleaned my hand off. They gave me one antibiotic pill to get me through the night. I um, scripts to get some more the next day. And I keep wiping it. And I got the bill in the mail after my insurance went over it, $900. And that wasn't even at the beginning of the year. So that's like, deductible's been that and everything. Is she here for that? She's 
coming. I told you maybe we needed to call. She called. She probably thought I forgot about them. No, nope. they've been done since like ten. People are always coming in and out of this room. So basically, I'm just trying to scissor up some of these scraggly hairs. It's hard to get him to look totally even just because of this weird hair that he has. It's probably hard to see from the video, but if you were here touching him and looking at him, you'd understand. She was telling me I did such a good job last time, so I want to make sure he looks good again. Plus his legs, like, they're not straight. They bow out. See that problem a lot with these little guys. I've got a, a shih tzu that comes in, but she's got one leg that's, like, completely turned around, and the other one's, like, up high. It's like a chicken wing, and she can't put it down. Or I've seen dogs that their paws are completely bent around like this. You know, with those, you must wonder, like, would it be better to just amputate this leg? Just random thoughts that go through my head. You know, those dogs, they never like those legs touched. It's like they hurt. I thought Georgia. Thanks for your life for a minute. Thank you. We have two shop cats here. And while I was waiting to do my phone call, I finished brushing out the one that I bathed earlier, and she is pissed at me. She's going to avoid me for now. And I was like, girl, get over it. I buy you even wet food, and I take care of you. Her we acquired because someone's mother-in-law was going in. She had Alzheimer's and she was being put in a nursing home and couldn't have the cat. And the family didn't want to take care of the cat. So we have that cat now. And that's Miss Kitty. She's kind of a, she's kind of a grouch. <laughs> I still love her to death, but she's a grouch. And we've got, she's about two. And then we've got fish sticks. She's probably a year and a half now because we got her, it was the summertime. Someone, she was a little tiny kitten and someone actually threw her over our daycare fences with, on the outside onto concrete, which are about 12 feet tall. The fact that that cat didn't hurt her legs is amazing. And yes, I named her Fish Sticks. <laughs> Fish Sticks, she's good with all the dogs. She actually goes back in the small daycare room and plays with the little dogs. Kind of a brat though and like she went to this she was peeing on my stuff like in front of me and everything and so i'm me well, yeah i thought oh she has a uti I take her into the vet and they basically in nicer words say no your cat's just a bitch <laughs> so she's on a, a prozac and it's helped she doesn't pee on my stuff anymore she might occasionally pee on something out in like the dog daycare area, but for the most part she doesn't do it anymore. Oh, can I do your legs? Not your normal groom on this little dog, huh? Like I said, it's just about working around the dog. Not gonna torture the dog. He's obviously comfortable. <laughs> Can I see the other side? Can you sit up for a minute, please? Can you sit up for just a minute? Thank you. 
You can just sit. You don't have to stand. That's fine. This is how we do a paw. Yeah, I am recording right now, and I'm already done with this feet. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> up their legs for Let's move up this. I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist, so there's all these little wiry hair sticking out everywhere. That was pretty cheap. They just got bass. She's like, is that it? So she gets, and I mean, they get shaved down with a seven. It's easy. And I get both those dogs done in like less than two hours. So it's 35 per dog, so it's 7490 with tax. But today she just got them bathed and like turned up their faces and beaks. It's cool. So I just charged her 25 bucks a dog. So it was 53.50, so she was surprised it was cheaper. I mean, I'm not going to charge the same when I'm not doing a full haircut. Oh, you don't make this easy. Hopefully you still look as good as last time. I'm going to be being who I am. I'm going to look up pictures and compare. <laughs> Stop. I get. Once again, not 
pinning a dog down to do its face. Although he clearly doesn't like me messing with it if there's ways around it. Stop. Stop. Let me get that by your eye. You didn't let me do your scoop. Stop. Joe. Thank you. Can I see if it's even? My OCD is grabbing me nuts with your hair, boy. You're so cool. Huh. Oh, I'll probably I'll blow him off with the hair dryer just to get some of these loose hairs off. Because these terrier dogs, you cut them down and I, they shed so much afterwards. Like so much of that loose hair. It is what it is. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna blow off some of that loose hair if he does if he'll let me. He doesn't love the blow dryer. Not the big one. Pull off a sparky bandana too. I don't have my oh my buffalo check stuff cut up yet. I've got some Valentine's Day fabric, but it's a little early for it, I think. At least when I still got some of this winter stuff left. There's Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, buddy.